Let's go. Uh, <coughs> you guys, uh, uh, for the chick slides, I have, I have this, I have the list before me, so uh, I know that way I know what to say, what not to say. That's it. Okay, right here. Uh, the, the type of question. Please pay attention to the type of questions as well. Just don't uh, say, "Oh, I know everything in here." You might know the answer, but you will not give me the answer to the question that I'm asking. Am I making some sense? Yes. So if I say, what is the name of structure right here, and you write down gastrula, you're wrong. <laughs> OK, what is the name of the structure? Blastocele. What is the name of structure? Blastopore. What is the name of structure? Archentron. What stage of life cycle? I put the point in here, what stage of life cycle? Am I making sense? What stage? I don't even have to say life cycle. What stage of development? What stage of life cycle? What stage? Gastrula. What stage? Morula. I hope I'm making some sense. There's nothing else in there I can ask on morula. What stage? Don't write down six cells, eight cells, 16 cells. It's not acceptable. I will not take it. We don't have, I mean, we do have eight cells, 16 cells, but not for this class. Am I making some sense? We have more you love. Just make your life simple. Yes. Are you on? I'm yes. stretching. Oh, you're stretching. Yeah. What? Are you going to exercise? No, my arm hurts. Play rugby? <laughs> you play rugby, Ariana? No, we, we are being recorded. Come on, let's go. I, what, is, what is the name of the stage? Uh, How do you know it's gastrula? Well, it's a blastula. Actually, it is blastula. It got out of four. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but this one, I would say it's a morula. Uh, but I have to focus it. And this one, I would say it's a blastula. And you have blastocele in there. I, on my slides, I do not have a good blastula. OK, but inside is a, doesn't mean your slides do not have it. Yes, Patrick. The one right in the middle isn't a blastula. Like it has a lot this, uh, again, it's out of focus. I have to focus it to see I see the empty space in here or not. But your blastula on your slides, it should be something look like this. And it's perfect circle. There is no indentation. There is no indentation in here. It's a perfect circle. If you put up a slide and you have questions, we can, uh, for the rest of the period, uh, we can. OK. <laughs> What stage is this? 33 hours. 33 hours. No. It's like some long day. Five Starfish. 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 Five Canaria larva. What is the name of structure? Mouth. Huh? Mouth. What is the name of structure? Silomic vesicle. Silomic vesicle. What is the name of structure? Stomach, intestine. What is the name of structure? Anus. Anus. Bipanaria bi larva. Um, your lab man, your other lab man, they call it late gastrula. Don't, don't go late, early gastrula. OK, how many hours? 33. 33 hours. OK, I have to look up, see what is it that I have to say, what is it I do not have to say. Oh, right here. OK. Oh, I think it's too small. Okay, well, he, he wants, okay, what is the name of structure? Optic vesicle. Optic vesicle. What is the name of structure? It's not labeled on the handout that I gave you. It's not labeled, but what is it? Yeah, definitely. This is a prosencephalon. This is a prosencephalon, even though it's not labeled in there, but you should know it. Okay, what is it's what is in the same of All of this is structure. Everything in, in these slides I ask, except how many hours. Okay. The only two questions you get on chick slides, what is the name of structure, how many hours? Okay. That's the only two questions you get. So this one, you already said how many hours. It's a 33 hours uh, cycle. Okay, and then the other one, he's having me, act okay, what is the name of uh, germ layer? Oh, another thing, I'm sorry, Kenny. The third question is, what is the germ layer? A germ layer, right here, actor. What germ layer? Mesoderm. And then what else? Uh, what germ layers? All of these are mesoderm. And germ layer, 
end of there, I think he's mentioned, no, it's uh, ectoderm. So yeah, yeah, it comes all the way down here. Ectoderm, and then right here is endoderm. So uh, that's pretty much it. Don't worry about coelom at this, uh, this up here. Okay. Uh, what is the name of structure? Neural tube. Neural tube. Neural tube. What is the name of structure? No, 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 what is the name of structure? Pharynx. Pharynx. Is that what he's calling it? Something else or pharynx? Yeah, he's calling it pharynx. Okay, then what is the name of the entire structure? Heart. 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 What is the name of structure right here? Be specific. Epimyocardial. What is the name of structure here? Be specific. Endocardial. What is the name of structure? Celo. Uh, is he asking germ layers in this one? Uh, oh, uh, what is the name of structure? He's asking that. Dorsal aorta. Dorsal aorta. Same thing here. Dorsal aorta. Okay, what is the name of structure? Somites. Somites. These are somites. What is the name of structure? Neural tube. Neural tube. Still is a tube because the top part is thinning down but still is a tube. What is the name of structure? Not the cord. What else am I supposed to know? Uh, coelom, ah, it doesn't look good. These are dorsal aorta. I don't see a good coelom. Okay, what is the name of structure? Neural fold. Neural fold. What is the name of structure? Neural groove. What is the name of structure? Not the cord. See, for neural groove, the tip of the pointer during exam is gonna be down here. And I'll check it during exam several times. As you know, so you cannot. You say, "Oh no, I mean it was here, or I mean it was here." There is a big difference. If I want not to call, I put the pointer, the tip of it, right here, right here. Okay, so that would be that would be not to call. And if I want neural groove, I put it right here. I hope I'm making some sense. And if I want neural fold, I put it up here or up here. I'm not going to put it up here, even though this part of neural fold. Uh, but you, you can argue, you, I mean, this, uh, right here. I'll put the neural folds on top. Right here and right here. Yes? How would you ask that? Would you say what's the name structure. of the structure? Structure. All of these are structures. If I ask germ layer, the third question, can ask that earlier. The germ layer is ectoderm, endoderm, meson. How many hours? 30, how many hours is this? 33 hours. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Are you on? Okay, uh, what is the name of the organism? Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, that's, 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 the, that's the trap you're going to fall on Thursday. Yeah. It's a euglenum. It's a euglenum. It's not paramecium. Because look at it, how small they are. They're awful small at this magnification. Okay, then uh, what is, uh, what phylum? Euglenozoa. Okay, I hope I'm making some sense. What is the mode of locomotion? Uh, flagella. 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 These are the type of questions you're going to get. Mode of locomotion, flagella. Uh, how, do, how do they obtain the food? Uh, photosynthesis. Chloroplast, photosynthesis, either one you write down. And I don't think I ask you to know any structures like uh, uh, nucleus pump. The next slide. Next slide. Uh, yeah, this is a high magnification of it, and this is the nucleus. Okay. Uh, some of them you can see flagella, but not on this one. Okay. What is the name of the organism? Giardia. Oh, Giardia. Oh, Giardia. Just Giardia. What is the name of the disease? Giardiasis. What are the signs and symptoms? Diarrhea. I hope I'm making some sense. <coughs> What's final? Diplomonada. Diplomonada. Very good. Diplomonada. Um, what stage? Trophozoid. Trophozoid stage. What is the mode of locomotion? Flagella. What is the type of symbiosis? What symbiosis? Parasitism. Parasitism. Okay, uh, this is not bad, but it's okay. Um, what is the name of the organism? Plasmodia. What is the name of the disease? Malaria. What are signs and symptoms? Chills, fever, 
vomiting, the list goes very long. Okay, so uh, what phylum? Uh, AP complexa. AP complexa. Uh, what is the mode of locomotion? Gliding. 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 And uh, what is um, uh, what is the intermediate host? Flies. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Humans. Humans. Intermediate. Okay. Intermediate host. Intermediate host could be any vertebrate animal. <coughs> Like some fishes, I don't know fishes have malaria or anything. But uh, vertebrate animals. That's what we need to ask. Huh? Yes. What is the what is the final host? Or final host is definitely host or final host is mosquito. Mosquito. Let's go. What is the name of the organism? These. Lishmania. These are lymphocytes. Uh, but anyhow, Lishmania. Uh, what is the mode of locomotion? Flagella. They're flagellated organisms. Uh, what phylum? Euglenozoa. Euglenozoa. Uh, what is the name of the disease? Yeah, cutaneous leishmaniasis or visceral leishmaniasis. Uh, either one you write down is acceptable. And um, what are the signs and symptoms? Hepatomegaly, enlarged liver. Okay, so those are anything you write down, I can, I can give you credit. Did I go over everything? What kind of symbiosis? <laughs> Just where they are, either they're in the, this area or their skin. What is the name of the organism? Trypanosoma. This is actually Trypanosoma brucei uh, because Trypanosoma cruzii is more C shaped. But you don't have to tell them apart for this class. You don't have to tell them apart. Trypanosoma. What is the name of the disease? Either you can write down either sleeping sickness or you can write down shock distance, right? Because you don't have to know the difference between the two when you look at the slides. But in the lecture material, of course, you have to know the difference. Am I making some sense? Okay, what is the mode of locomotion? Flagella. What is the name of the disease you are in? What are the signs and symptoms? It depends what it is, heart disease, heart problem or nervous system, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, what phylum? Iglyonyozoa. What is the name of the organism? Very good. Balantidium coli. Look at the nucleus. It's a bar. Look like a bar. Look like a bar. OK, what is the mode of locomotion? Cilia. Cilia. Uh, what phylum? Ciliophora. Ciliophora. What are the signs and symptoms? Diarrhea. Diarrhea. What is the name of the organism? Serratia. Serratia. And uh, what is the mode of locomotion? Flagella. Uh, what phylum? Diano flagellata. Um, is there anything else I should ask? Yeah. The what? Symbiosis free living. Symbiosis. I don't think it would be a good question here. I might ask, is this organism parasitic or free living? I will ask that. Uh, you know it's free living. Uh, what is the name of the phylum? Yeah, foraminifera. Or foraminifera. Uh, and um, mode of locomotion, pseudopod. That's all. Uh, what is the name of structure? This, 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 huh? Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton or test. Remember that? We talked about it. T E S T. What is the name of the uh, phylum? Radiolarian. Radiolarian. And what is the name of structure? See, they're all different shapes. Uh, test. What is the name of the organism? Paramecium. Much, much bigger than euglena. 
this is under either 5, 10x, or uh, yeah, this is I think 10x. Uh, what is the name of structure? Nucleus. What is the name of structure? Vacuoles. Vacuoles. Very good. What is the name of structure out here? Out here. Cilia. cilia. Nucleus, vacuole, cilia, out here. What phylum? Ciliophora. What is the name of structure? <coughs> right. Nucleus. Very good. What is the name of structure? Vacuole. What is the name of structure? Pseudopod. What phylum? Amoebozoa. What is the mode of locomotion? Pseudopod. Okay. Uh, well, I could free living or parasitic? These are free living amoeba. These are free. What is the name of the organism? Trichonympha. Very good. What is the mode of locomotion? Flagella. What is um, what kind of symbiosis? Mutualism. Mutualism. Very good. Mutualism. Who is the other symbiont? Termite. Termite. So there are two symbionts. Termite and trichonympha. Both benefit from that type of relationship. They call them symbionts. Uh, what phylum? Paravacellia. Is there any other question I should know? What is the name of the organism? Volvox. What is the name of the cell? Vegetative. Vegetative cells. What is its function? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. What is the mode of locomotion? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is the name of structure? Daughter the colony. Uh, what is the name of the phylum? Viridi antiae. Uh, how did they obtain their food? You said photosynthesis. Okay, what is the name of the organism? I saw some of your slides. It's not as good as this one. Okay, but uh, this is a very good slide. One of you guys took it a long time ago and gave it to me two, three years ago. Okay, so what is the name of the organism? No, uh -huh. it's on your slide collection. Monas vaginalis. Monas vaginalis. What is the mode of locomotion? Vagella. What phylum? Paravacellia. Um, what kind of symbiosis? Parasitic. What is the name of the disease? Trichomoniasis. 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 And what are the signs and symptoms? We talked about it. Discharge. Foul smell. smell. Discharge. Uh, so on and so forth. Here is a high magnification, not very good. I like this magnification better. You should be able to tell it apart. You see some flat jello in here. Uh, they have three, four. Or I think that for flagella. Okay, I think I don't know. We'll see. How many hours? Huh? 20, 24 hours. And I have the lab manual right here. 24 hours. Uh, what is? The, I never asked this before, but you never know. I might get crazy. Uh, what is the name of structure here? Head fold. Yeah. Okay. This is the. I ask this one. You guys say, oh, I mean, how, yeah, this is very clear, nice. What is the name of structure? Margin of amnion. Uh, do you guys see that line? Oh, you do see it? Up there? Yeah? yeah? Okay. What is the name of structure? Notochord. Very good. What is the name of structure? Somites. Um, oh, he's asking here. What is the name of that white area? No, no. Surface ectoderm. And then this is the vascularized area. I hope I'm making some sense. Everybody, vascularized area, color is different than surface ectoderm. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, right here, what is it? What is he calling this? Primitive streak. Uh, <laughs> right after the somites, he's calling this neural groove. 
right, this area, and this is all neural fold right here, right? And what else? Neural tube, of course, upper here is a neural tube. I guess that's all you have to know in this slide. Neural tube, neural tube, of course, it's showing both sides of the tube. It's a tube. Uh, and then notochord runs. You know that the, the model of the 33 hours, look at the two dimension of it, see how things are. This is a two dimension. You might not uh, answer all of your questions, how things are. OK, how many hours? 33 hours. Okay, let me go here, then I make sure I go everything that you need to know. Uh, 33 hours. Okay, uh, this one again, I never asked that before. It's called what? Anterior or neural four. Okay, what is the name of structure? Optic vesicles. What is the name of structure? Procephalon. What is the name of structure? Mesencephalon. What is the name of structure? Rhombencephalon. Now, in here, uh, there's supposed to be two lines. I don't see it on my slide, but, uh, yeah, 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 I don't know. Okay, it's a uh, uh, foregut right in this area. What is the name of structure? Heart. What is the name of structure? Somites. So what is the name of structure? Neural tube. This is all neural tube. There is a notochord here as well. I don't see it on this slide or there is one. Notochord runs through here is a line. Okay. Uh, neural tube. Did I go over everything? I'll show you the posterior portion of the animal. Neural tube, neural fold. Oh, margin of amnion, boom. Uh, they cut off the blood vessels on this slide, so that would be a blood. If I ask you what is the name of structure here, write down blood vessel. Is one you see one here and one here. Mm -hmm. So from here, you can see that to here is blood vessel. And you don't want that exactly. Yeah, vetaline. Oh, vetaline vessel is fine if you write it down. Vetaline it means yolk. Uh, the term vetaline it means yolk. So vetaline vessel is here fine. But right here underneath of it, you saw the margin of amnion beautifully in. Uh, 24 hours. This is 33 hours. The next slide you have as the hours go up, and still, it's a nice, it's a nice margin of amnion. I have asked that in the past. What is margin of amnion in 33 hours? Check. Okay. Okay. This is the posterior portion of the animal. Uh, uh, primitive streak. Is that right? Uh, don't worry about Henson's node. Uh, neural groove. Yes. Right here. This is all neural group. And right here is your neural what? Fold. Neural group, the white area, the lighter area, and neural fold. And that's all you have to know in this. Great. OK. Uh, how many hours? I think they're in order. Uh, this, is, this is your 48 hours. Nice and good. OK. The five parts of the brain that you should know the five, there are five parts of the brain that you should know, embryonic brain. The big uh, hump on top, right here, that should be your landmark, and that, that is your mesencephalon, right? Am I making some sense? That is mesencephalon. And then there are two parts in front of it that you should know, and there are two parts of the brain behind of it that you should know. Am I making some sense? So this is mesencephalon, and from here to here, is what? What is the name of structure? Diane cephalon. Diane cephalon. Right here. And what is this big hump? Talen cephalon. Okay? And then this is I and so on and so forth. What is the name of structure? Tencephalon. So here is your uh, mesencephalon, right? There is one structure right here from here to here. That is your metencephalon. All of this, so the pointer would be here. It's not, the pointer here is not same as pointer being here. And then that's metencephalon. And look at all of the clear area here, still inside of the animal, right? All of this, 
the pointer will be here, that tip of that black pointer will be right here. What is the name of structure? My lens cephalon. My lens cephalon. What is the name of structure? Heart. Heart. Um, what is the name of structure? Not very good on your slides, but what is the name of structure? Artic vesicles. No, so much are down here. Artic, the ear. Artic vesicles. I, but it's not very focused, it's not very nice here, but you, I'm seeing it on your slides. It's beautiful. All of your slides have them. So this is artic vesicles. Uh, I, heart, uh, what else? What else am I supposed to know? <coughs> Margin of amnion, sure. You have it right up here. Uh, posterior margin of amnion, somite. Yes, what is the nerve structure? Somite. These are all somite. The tip of the pointer would be on one of them. Okay, uh, caudal fold. Uh, it's right here, maybe next slide I'll show it to you. Uh, left vetaline artery. Don't worry about artery and vein, but these are your vetaline uh, vessels, if you would. Vetaline vessel, vetaline vessel. Uh, myelencephalon, ear, eye, diencephalon, that's it. Heart, that's it. That's all you have to know on 48 hours. Let's go to the next one. This is what? <clears throat> 72 hours in the uh, docu-share material that I sent you, parts of the brain are not labeled, but I will ask parts of the brain on 72 hours. Let's go over it. Very nice and clear. What is the name of structure? That is your mesencephalon, the big bulge, right? That's your landmark. It should be your landmark. Two structures behind of it. What is the name of structure? Metencephalon. What is the name of structure? Myelencephalon. Two structures in front of it. Diencephalon. Telencephalon. Easy. They didn't label it here because of the reflection of the light. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't label it. They got lazy like me sometimes. People get lazy. Oh no. Okay. So, uh, what is the nerve structure? Heart. Eye is here, not clear on my slides, but anyhow. What else do I have? Eye, brain, uh, vetaline. You have beautiful vetaline vessels here. These are all vetaline vessels. Uh, limb bud, mm -hmm. right here. Allantoyas. Uh, you don't see, they didn't label Alan Torres in here on 48, on 72 hours, but it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, huge, nice. Some of your slides have it, some of your slides didn't have it. Like the one that I have here, it has it. So Limbot, uh, Alan Torres. What else do I have to know? Yeah, nasal pit, don't worry about that. Aortic arches, oof. if you focus the heart, Right here, you'll be able to see the aortic arches, but you don't have to worry about it. Nice, beautiful aortic vesicles. You do have ear. It's called aortic vesicles. Ear, nice and beautiful. And that's all they label for you guys. There are other structures here can be seen, somites and so on and so forth, but they didn't label. Yes, Was it, you had a question about that? No. You're stretching too, you're gonna go play rugby with her? <laughs> you're ready. You're ready for Thursday. I'm here to show me what you got. Huh? Okay. Brain. Look how beautiful it is. Right? What is the name of structure? Mesencephalon. Behind of it? Metencephalon. The clear area? Myelencephalon. In front of it? Diencephalon. Telencephalon. The eye? Heart, Alantoyas, Limbud, what else? Huh? Uh, Limbud, uh, uh, Telencephalon, Diencephalon, I, Mesen, Meten, Myelin, uh, Arctic Vesicles, yes, yeah, not very good, on, but yeah, it's there. It's Arctic Vesicles, the ears, uh, Aortic Arches. Oh, if you focus the slide, you might be able to see it, but Dorsal Aorta. Yes, there is a dorsal aorta in here, see, uh, right here. But again, uh, we have to focus this slide. Dorsal aorta, somites, of course, on 72 hours. They didn't show you the somites, but they're right here. Your somites and heart, of course. Okay, 
let's go. That's all I have for the um, your microscopic slides. Let's go over the two by twos. Two by twos will be under uh, microscope. Right here. What is the name of the organism? Nuclearia uh, fowleri. And um, uh, what is the? Uh, it's a tricky. What is the mode of locomotion? What you're going to write down? Yeah, it can be flagella. It can be pseudopod. It depends what it is. If it is in the environment, it is most likely a flagella. If it is inside of us, in our brain, it's a pseudopod. Okay. Um, um, again, if I ask what kind of symbiosis is parasitic, if I ask is it free living or parasitic, it's both, right? It is both. Either one is acceptable. Okay, what file? No, no, not, not dino. Uh, what file? Hetero. Hetero. Heterolobesia. Hetero, heterolobesia. Make sure you know your phylums. Your quiz today has phylums in there. Heterolobesia, H, uh, H E T E R L O B. Am I making some sense? Okay, what phylum? <laughs> Epicomplexa. Epi Epi what stage? Tachyzoite. These are tachyzoites. What is the name of the organism? Toxoplasma gondii. What is the mode of locomotion? Gliding. What is the stage? Bradyzoite. What is the name of the organism? Toxoplasma gondii. All of those dots. Do you see those dots? Those are all Toxoplasma gondii. These are brain of a mouse. This is brain of a mouse. Uh, what is the name of the condition? Hydrocephalic. Hydrocephalic brain. Caused by what organism? Toxoplasma gondii. Okay, I don't think I. Uh, what is the name of what stage? What is the name of structure? Cyst. You write down oocyst, you're wrong. Because this is giardia. No sexual reproduction in here. Okay, so this is a cyst stage and um, what else? Uh, uh, what phylum? Giardia. Diplomonata. Huh? Okay. Uh, what stage is this? Trophozoite. What is the name of the organism? Giardia. Uh, what is the name of the organism? Plasmodium. Plasmodium. And what uh, what phylum? Apicomplex. Uh, what is the name of structure? Oocyst. Oocyst. What organism? Plasmodium. What is in the background? No. Mosquito gut. This is mosquito gut. So this is the oocyst of plasmodium. We took it from mosquito gut. Took just the mosquito gut, and here are the oocysts. Ah, uh, yes, this one I thought I got rid of it. But uh, this is Entamoeba coli. I thought I got rid of it, but they're here. Uh, nucleus. So don't worry about it. Uh, this is a cyst stage. And uh, this is a trophozoite stage of Antimico coli. Yeah, you can just skip that one, don't worry about it. Okay, this you have slide of it. What is the name of the organism? 
Look at the nucleus, Balantidium coli. What is the phylum? Ciliophora. Ciliophora. And this is Balantidium coli between the epithelial cells of the intestine and the muscularis layer of the intestine. When I say all of those terms, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. They're right here causing the damage, diarrhea, so on and so forth. Uh, what is the name of the organism? Isospora. Oh, what phylum? Ciliophora. 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 Uh, what is the name of the organism? Isospora. Isospora. Very good. What phylum? Apicomplexa. Again, nice, beautiful. He's smiling at you. What is the name of the organism? <laughs> Giardi. That's it. Is there any other question? That's all of your two by twos. And then we try to put this.